Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 video on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you the third episode on my FIFA 17 Scaling Road to Glory. So before we start this video I just want to say a big thanks to all the support on the previous videos on my channel. So far on this series we're averaging like 20 likes per video so we can keep that up that will be greatly appreciated. So the first thing I want to talk about in today's video is foot champs. So I actually ran a poll on Twitter asking people whether or whether or not they wanted me to do foot champs and out of the 10 people who entered, 8 of them said no and 2 of them said yes. So for going from the majority of votes, I'm going to decide that I'm not going to do foot champs on this um, series and that's just one of the reasons why because the majority of people didn't want to watch it. But another reason is um, I don't think it will be that enjoyable to be honest for me and the people watching because I know the majority of viewers on my channel are skillers themselves and skillers don't really find competitive play that interesting so I think it will keep it more interesting for me and the viewers if we don't do foot champs and then the final reason is um, a lot of people while most road to glories this year people are entering foot champs and foot champs is a very easy way to make coins so I think um, you know for the people who can't qualify for foot champs my road to glory is going to help them to teach them ways to uh, make coins so you know you're doing things such as the bronze pack method the offline drafts actually a very good way to make coins this year I don't think a lot of people know that one so yeah it just helps the people who aren't able to qualify for foot champs and teaches them ways to help them make coins so the next opponent we come against here, he actually has a 5 star skiller in Buffal and this guy was actually a skiller himself, he was pretty decent at skill moves, not the best but knew how to do the basic skill moves as you'll see here. So he starts off there with a nice uh, burp top spin, runs there, does a nice spin past me, does a fake shot to a Ronaldo chop, then it does a nice burp top spin again does a spin there, goes and takes the shot and then luckily for him hits the post and then our goalie manages to save the rebound and then eventually we do manage to tackle the ball and get it away. So the next chance again comes to our opponent here on the line with Bufal, running down the line, does a nice Berbatov spin inside, plays it in the field, does some nice skills there with Perez and then smashes it into the top left corner and then dabs on me with a celebration. So this guy was now 1-0 up in this match and we get an amazing equaliser there with Aguero do a nice burp toss spin to so that weird long shot, it sort of lobs Zila, tries to reach it and it's a great finish from Aguero and that's when Aguero does come in handy in these type of matches, you know he's just one of those players who's just so clinical and very good in this game. So again we get another chance here with Aguero, run through, do a nice burp toss spin and then smash it past Zila, he didn't even move, didn't even try and save this one, it was just an unstoppable shot from Aguero and it went past the goalie into the right side of the net. Then again our opponent gets the ball here, chips it through, plays it out wide again to Buffal and what a goal this is, takes one touch and then smashes it in off the crossbar, really like the way that goal looked and then again he decides to go and dab on me. Um, yeah, so then as well we get it late here on the game, um, we do a nice uh, drag back there with Aguero, carrying on running, do the pipe skill move to a ball roll, play it through there to um, Koyate who smashes it into the bottom corner of the net very nice finish there from our CDM and Kia is actually one of those players who's just so overpowered this year due to his physical and height so the next goal I didn't actually manage to record the goal for some reason so I just had to get the replay but it was a decent goal with Aguero we just play the ball into him does a nice drag back and then finishes and then straight away our opponent scores a goal there to make it 4-3 and then from a goal kick here we get it with Balassi do a really nice skill combo there do a nice Alaska chop to a ball roll flick, go and take the shot but luckily for him a defender's in the way. So after that match Aguero got man of the match, I think he scored a hat trick, we're going to get ourselves 491 coins and as you can see it was a pretty even match overall but luckily for me I could hold on to the win so I had 54% possession, he had 4 shots, I had 5 shots so overall it was a very even game. So then after that as you can see we got our first 3 points in Division 9 first win and first three points. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the type of things I will be uploading on my channel within the next few weeks. So as you know the majority of videos on my channel are either player reviews or um, skill tutorials and I've decided that what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and upload this series at least four times a week and try and get at least one player review out a week as well. So this, that, this means that I have you know a good variety of videos on my channel. Um, and as well guys I will hopefully be making more skill tutorials very soon the graphics designer has made a really cool um, overlay for like a skill tutorial so yeah hopefully 
probably next week or late this week I will make another skill tutorial showing you guys three amazing overpowered skill tutorial uh, skill combos so yeah so now getting into this match we start off with really nice here with Velassi doing a few skill moves we get tackled there and then it can do a running waka waka there try and do another running waka waka but fail do a nice elastico chop two hocus pocus go and take the shot and the goalie saves and that's really the only con Balassi does have in this team his finishing is not the best um, that's the only con he really has literally I honestly prefer him to Ronaldo and the only reason I'd probably go with Ronaldo over him is just because Ronaldo is much better at shooting so if maybe I think Balassi's actually out for the whole of the season but maybe if we get himself you know a second in form if he does pos potentially come back you know late um, at the late part of the season gets himself another, another in form gets a big shooting upgrade then I honestly think he could probably be better than Ronaldo and again he's just shown he's how good he is we do a nice double running waka waka there take the shot with Balassi hits the post Aguero is there to get the rebound but sadly we're offside and then for the second match in a row Aguero goes and get himself the man of the match we get 484 coins and again we get another win our second win in division 9 what puts us on six points out of a possible six points so then after playing this match I decided to do a bit of trading because you know we've got to try and make trading you know um, show people who don't want to do foot jumps you know ways to make coins so if you want me to show you like a method I use in a separate video don't forget to leave a like on this video so actually I'll just have this method now actually what I was doing I was going to league un go put in the quality to silver the max buy now price to 200 coins go into the 59th minute and then just comparing prices and see what the cheapest one was after this card and if there's about 100 to 200 coins difference I'll definitely recommend going picking up um, pick up the player so as you can see here we get this CDM here we get him for 200 coins and we can sell him for 600 coins making some really nice profit and we go and get this guy here for 200 coins and I think we go and list him up for 300 or 350 coins so again you're not going to make the most profit doing this method but the amount of plays you can pick up doing this method is very good and then the next play we do and get here is a striker from the pro league and the method I did to get this guy all I did I went to the pro league put max price um, 300 coins put the quality to silver and the reason I did this because the pro league has an uh, SBC and if you complete it you get uh, I think it's his name prior is a French striker but the main reason people do it is because you get a 100k pack for completing the SBC so what you want to do that's a really good method as well trade with players who are in current SBCs and the most um, expensive players and the best players to trade with this year are silvers so after doing this guys I decided to enter the starter cup because my players were injured, I think Aguero was injured, or um, yeah, Pizzi was injured, that was it, and my players were very low on fitness, so I decided to enter the starter club, uh, cup and win it, and for winning it we get 500 coins and a gold gift pack, so it's not the best reward, but it's a good way to get some match coins and get some extra coins and a nice pack. So as you can see we win the first match there 5-1, what I was doing I was just going 5-0 up in the match Then I was just putting my controller down and then in the next match again we win this one 5-0 Just went 5-0 up again and just put my controller down and then the, after this we went through into the semi-final as I will show you right here So as you can see there our coin balance is going up, we go through into the semi-final For some reason I went on the final and so there we go, we go and win the semi-final there 6-1, I don't know where I scored the extra goal um, yeah, so that's the reason I go 5 and up usually is because after you go 5 and up, your goals don't like increase your match coins, so there's no point in really playing on. I think the only thing that maybe could improve your match coins is the shots on target. So, anyway, in the end, we do go and win it. We get that 500 coins, that gold gift pack. Again, it's a 5 0 win in the final, and including the match coins, we managed to get a thousand coins in the final, what is going to be very good for this series. So after doing that, I go and open the pack from the store, as you'll see in a second here. So yeah, there's our coin balance again, going up even more. We go to the store, go and open our gold gift pack. And the really good thing about these packs is you can get coin rewards in them. And as you can see, as I open the pack, we don't get an inform or even a rare player. We go and get this sentiment there from the Turkish League, who could be very good if we want to do the Samuel Eto SBC. But we're actually going to get ourselves an extra 1,000 coins, what is great, and will be very good at the start. And then we also get two contracts there, what are very important. I couldn't actually sell that Turkish guy, though, because he wasn't untradeable. 
So after doing that guys, I decided to sell a few players in my team. I know we just made a new team right at the start of the video, but I wasn't really too keen on the defence. So I decided to sell those Serie A players and improve it with the most sweatiest partnership I think there is in FIFA. So we got Tim Howard in goal, we got him for 800 coins. Decent goalkeeper, hoping to get his informed within the next few weeks. Then we get a par rate, who's one of the best centre backs on this game because of his high pace. I want to get a shadow chemistry style on him when I can because he goes up to like 97 pace, 86 defending, and like 84 physical, what is honestly insane. And then his partner in crime, Matt Bessler. So, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.